Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join us as we welcome to the podium the chairman, chief executive officer of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo. Thank you very much indeed. Each time I receive a rousing applause like that, I feel like going into politics. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you all. And please receive my warmest welcome to the Channels TV Gala Dinner. It's an honor, and it's also a pleasure that you are all able to join us here tonight. First, I'd like to thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for his goodwill message. I would like to thank also all the dignitaries who are here tonight, captains of industry, the governors, representatives, distinguished Nigerians who have made their impact on the nation state, men and women of, as they say, of timber and of caliber. Thank you for coming. 21 years ago, on a clear July afternoon, we switched on a very small electronic equipment the size of a briefcase. We called it a transmitter. Its power rating was 100 watts, just about 2% of what existing government stations own. Its coverage area was within the radius of the size of this complex. Channel television was live on air. I was excited, but many people weren't. Some mocked, some derided me. Others ridiculed me and ridiculed the whole idea. While many others thought I was crazy. And you couldn't blame them. For how can a man who is desirous of going into today's transportation business buys a tricycle like Kekemawa and boast about taking on the likes of ABC Transport Service. Such is the analogy that best captures my audacity in 1995. Everyone jeered, but the Lord was with me. But for a dogged spirit of faith, a committed wife, my lovely wife, and a few forward-looking and a few forward-looking personalities who would be recognized later tonight. The sudden rush of early setbacks which we experienced then should have been completely broken, should have completely broken one's resolve to continue in the pursuit of ra what rapidly disintegrated into an unlikely dream. Looking back, however, I'm extremely glad that one's conviction that Nigeria needed an independent, cutting-edge television news service did not falter. It's that sense of purpose and interpret commitment which enabled my family and I 
to endure the worrisomeness of energy sapping trials, uncertainty, and a stagnating period of financial insecurity. Nonetheless, we persisted in our drive to remain solvent. The raison d'etre for Channel TV was to ensure the development of a fourth estate with the aim of cultivating and upholding the highest ideals in balanced reporting and the right to be adequately informed. So, in spite of the early pitfalls and near collapse, we had to survive. And survive, we did, bootstrapping our way to financial stability, cognizant of the self-instructed fact that there was no turning back until our mission is accomplished. And the Lord was with us. This happens to me sometimes. My scripts are juxtaposed. And I, I got it. At the beginning, on the one hand, mainstream advertisers, including multinationals and their representative advertising agencies, the mainstay of any free-to-air television station like channels, were reluctant to come to the table. On the other hand, key investors that we initially approached sought to adopt a take-it-or-leave-it approach, which for me was simply non-negotiable. For advertisers, a dedicated news channel was not an attractive, attractive bet. And for those investors that we approached, it was too high a risk to call. For many of us who are familiar with the history of Nigeria, this period was during the sunny Abacha years. Nonetheless, from its humble origins and through sheer persistence, Channels TV has subsequently, during the course of the past 21 years, won 10 out of 15 of Nigeria's Media Merit Award coveted roll call of honor and distinction. It's Nigeria's most outstanding national broadcaster. What the Lord has done for us, we cannot tell it all. Twenty-one years is both a long and a very short time in the life of an organization. Compared to giants like BOA and BBC, Channel TV is still young. On the other hand, 21 years is in an industry that is constantly and rapidly advancing is an achievement we can be proud of. It means we have managed to establish ourselves in a sector so fraught with economic minefields. And it means that we've now claimed our rightful place in the national and international broadcasting landscape. 21 years ago, when I had a dream to venture into television broadcasting, I knew that a good vision would need people to actualize it. I'm proud to say tonight, again and again, that we have probably the best people for our business in Channels TV. I pay tribute to them tonight. Thank you all for buying into the vision. Together, by the grace of God, we have made Channels TV what it is today. A close review of Channels two-decade history will reveal an amazing history, which has seen professionalism and enterprise fused into one to result in what is today the most trusted, most watched, and most successful news organization in the continent of Africa. It's an often asked question in the political space. What makes good television? Put simply, as some experts have suggested, watching TV with the sound off while flipping channels, once you find yourself tuning up the volume, you've spotted one of the most compelling things on television. And that's what channels does to you. So, 
What makes channels good television? Good programs, professionalism, relevance, authenticity, and innovation. These are what define us. These are what make us who we are. And who are we? We are Africa's most awarded television station with many groundbreaking innovations. <laughs> who are we? We are the African media organization, the first to stream its news and programs live. We are the first Nigerian television company to interface with followers on Twitter. We are the only Nigerian television station with over 3.45 million followers and even more on social media. We are the first point of reference and confirmation of breaking news stories in Nigeria. And we are the only television medium in the country to be rated by the BBC and Reuters poll as the most reliable and trusted source of information in Nigeria. There's a whole lot more about us and how we are impacting on viewers around the world. We cherish our viewers. We cherish our advertisers. People like Mr. Biodu Shobanjo. I insist that you rise. Mr. Biodu Shobanjo, Sir Steve Omajafo. We cherish our clients. One of them will be recognized tonight. We cherish our global partners. Among them, the United Nations, the Voice of America. And I'll ask one of the guests from the United States of America, from Washington, D.C., whose name is actually Yoruba, to rise along with Doug Bonting and the other members for recognition. They've come all the way from Washington, D.C. And Yoruba, can you wave so that we can see you? Our first name is Yoruba. We cherish our partnership with Deutsche Welle, the German broadcaster. We also cherish our partnership with the International Center for Journalists, ICFJ, and IREX, the International Research and Exchanges Board. And even much more, we are guided by the notion that every Nigerian, every African, must be armed with information that will challenge their curiosity and help to change their lives positively. This is who we are. And for 21 years, we have been guided by these principles. Channels has played and will continue to play a critical role in Nigeria's socioeconomic and political development. We will continue to do what we know best, report the truth, and strive to be fair, balanced, an objective. If this isn't food for thought for you, at least it will give us some thought for food. Thank you very much. <laughs>